in this video we're going to be looking at the create user wizard control uh, this control is used to render a registration form for new users uh, upon registration the details are added to the website database uh, this control uses the ASP.NET web administrator tool in the background to perform its function. Remember the uh, ASP.NET website administration tool that I showed you earlier on? This is exactly what it uses in the background. So whenever you use the form on your website, it's actually using that tool to register the users to, and add them to the database. One of the more important properties of this control is the continue destination page URL. So you need to set the continue destination page URL this will take the uh, this will take the name of the page where user will be redirected to uh, upon successfully completing the registration form. So um, let's look at the uh, register user wizard. So which we are going to place inside the register user page. So we have the register user page here, and uh, we go to the login uh, tab, and we want to select the create user wizard control so we take it and we drag it and use as you can see it has uh, it uh, it creates a form for us which we can use and if you remember this is exactly the same form that we filled in uh, on the uh, website administrative too so and uh, let's set as you can see as well this one has a lot of properties that you can use to change uh, change the look and feel how it looks and the functions of it so we can auto generate password but we're not going to be doing that so it has been set to false so uh, you can see all the cancel button text or the cancel button type all the types of uh, properties that we won't be able to talk about we're going to be talking because most of these videos I'm doing I'm still going to be doing the advanced uh, form of these uh, tools but these are just for the basics so I'm doing all the basics video first then after completing all the basics which means that you can put you have a website which is live that you can use and is functioning then we can add a lot of other advanced uh, functionalities to it because most of the advanced uh, uh, functionality require that you have the C sharp experience so uh, the continue destination continue destination Continue destination page URL is very important. So this is the page that we want to redirect to when the continue button is clicked. So should we set that? Let's set that to. Um, I like to set the user back to the login page after they finish registering. So I think that that's more ideal. So now that we've added, we don't have to do anything else. So let's just run the page and add another user so we see it's a very very simple form and remember we still have this one as well so let's uh, create username so we're going to call this uh, admin2 and the password as well will be password2 with a dollar sign then going to repeat that password to with a dollar sign then the email will be admin to at the website.com if you don't type all this information you can again error security question again is favorite support okay put that to be tennis yes I love tennis uh, create user Let's create this user. As you see, it said uh, your account has been successfully created. You can also modify this uh, uh, this inf this uh, information. You said complete. Your account has been uh, successfully created, and uh, this continue button. Remember, we set it to login. So now, if we continue by clicking on login, remember we still every all, for all the time we still have this login. Um, control placed at the top here. So let's log in with the new information admin2 and the password is password2 with a dollar sign. So we can log in and uh, yes, you see that one is disappeared, it's not on our page anymore. And 
once we we're now in the main area which is a for the private uh, user so this is a way to use as you see is a very very straightforward form you know you can have a live website with, that's going to validate users authentication you know very quickly without writing any code as I say we've not written any code it's outside the web.config file where you have to write um, so that text I was talking about that you can change uh, it's a it's, let's see let's see where that is come from your account so this is complete so this is called the complete success text so this is the text that will be shown after the user has been created so you can modify this one so that you can change what it looks like and you can change a lot of properties so I require you to take time out sometimes you might think okay how do I because this is very tiny you can drag out your property uh, window so you can drag it out you know sorry about uh, my screen flickering it's because of the the uh, video recording so you can expand it so you can see all the text you can see everything clearly so you can modify it easily so even if you mistakenly close it all you have to do is just go to view and you say property window and it's going to bring it back then you can resize it you can drop it back to where it was by using this guide so you can use the guide and now it's back but uh, it's not back in the correct place because it's not covering our solution explorer so anyway i'm going to rearrange that after this video so this is how you use the um, uh, the create user wizard and i'll see you in the next video thank you